Hello, hello, this is Arcades, and welcome to another Spotlight episode here on Stormworks Build and Rescue. And uh, this one's a little different because this is my helicopter, the Buff. I'm not showing it off. What I'm showing off is what's installed in it. I found this nifty little microtroller on the workshop, and uh, it's a trans, it's called a transponder grapher. It is by NAFTA. And uh, I've got it installed in here, and it has some neat little functionality, and we're going to check it out. Uh, I haven't experimented with it too much. There's some things I want to, that I might try out later, but uh, for the time being, I'm going to show you the base of what you get when you install it, and uh, yeah. Whew. So, I hope you like what you see. Hope you enjoy what you watch. If you do, like, subscribe, leave a comment, tell me what you think. All that fun junk helps the channel out immensely, and uh, yeah. Let's get into this. Okay, okay, so first of all, let me show some options. Right now, I've got it installed on my helicopter. It's right here on the top. And it has map scale, location, show location. I'm pretty sure, I'm not exactly what that means. He has enables so in his notes on his page it says map scale properties interpret the same way as for displaying regular map show location property scale drawing circle represents vehicles location because right now let's work with it as it is so so yeah we just uh, i just read off what he's got in his workshop he's also got this table showing you what's going to come up with colors and the distance and precision and all that I was just taking a look at it when you get to the workshop, and of course, this will always this will be linked in my description. Okay, now let's actually get out there. I have a mission up that requires a transponder on it. All right, we got it active there. And as you see, it already blinked. Now it has an output for last ping. I think that's probably some counter. It'll reset every time it gets the ping. And right now it says precision is 16 kilometers. So I'm assuming that means we're within like 16 kilometers of the thing. Now the mission we have <laughs> is this mission right here. As you can see, it's a big old wide boy. But we're gonna, I'm gonna set it for the center. is seven kilometers that way and uh we're gonna head over there okay so we're underway uh the place where we spawn is back there we're about three kilometers from the center of that search area and as you notice there's uh there's a line drawn behind this that's the path i've traveled so far it kind of gives you an idea of where you've been already so that way, as you do searches, you can know where you have been and how, and the color indicates how close you were to the transponder. At least that's how I'm understanding it. So the closer you get, the richer the color gets. It goes from white, cyan, blue, magenta, red, yellow to green, green being the closest. So as you can see, we're, we're constantly getting closer. And you can hear the beeping on here as well. Uh, this, yeah, that's the last ping. So as you can see, that number is getting down lower each time. And we're almost to the center of the transponder area. Okay, so something I want to show now that we're pretty much at the center. Let me backtrack a bit. Okay, so now here's one other cool feature. Now that we're at the center, Roughly. 
if you click on the screen, and then this is from automatic mode, it keeps it static. So you'll have the gray corners on here that shows that it's blocked. And now... Re-engage my... <clears throat> quote... Autopilot. <laughs> and if you'll notice... We watch here. It's not noticeable right now. But as we move, you notice this is no longer centered. It's actually moving within the gray area on its own, and the rest of it is staying static. So you can actually see within your search area what you have and haven't been at in a more relationship to an area instead of just the path you've taken so far. So even if you weren't doing, like, say, a transponder setup, I think the transponder is kind of needed to get it to draw the line because it's basing it off of when it receives the ping. But if it can draw the line... Yeah, you can see I'm starting to go off the map. So we're going to turn this way now. But now we're kind of getting off the map, so we can't even see ourselves, so I'm going to unlock it. And now it puts us in the center, and it starts drawing again. Now, if you enable it... Now, you do have a switch for enabling, but if you actually hit that switch again to disable it, it does reset the data. So with it, so the screen's showing a four kilometer area. I believe that's our destination right there. As you can see, the colors are getting uh, darker and darker. Yellow is... Green should be next. Ah, there it goes. Yep. So, yeah. That's uh, the transponder grapher. And it uses, like I said, that's really handy and I think uh, I could finagle it to put a map over top, overlay a map, which in increase its value significantly higher <sighs> for uh, purposes and such. And yeah, it, it's a neat little addition. I like the idea of it. It definitely could use some, uh, that slight improvement of a map, but I wouldn't say like it's unusable. Definitely is, if you use it with conjunction of some other stuff, it wouldn't be a bad option either. Oh, hello. Now, don't mind me for a second while I perform a rescue.
Okay, so we've got everybody collected in. We're on our way to the nearest hospital. And yeah, so this was the Transponder Grafter by NAFTA. And yeah, remember to go check it out. Link in the description. All that fun junk. So, hope you had a good time. Hope you enjoyed your watch. You know the deal. You know the spiel. This is Arcadius signing out. Have yourself a good day. Whee!